Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how you can create, I don't know, this super interesting shape because it's very interesting if we check our zebra stripes here, you see that here at the front we have a perfect transition and just a little bit later we start to break into that edge. So as you see here it's smooth and we only get this edge here at the top. So it's exactly what we have in the Pure You see here it's smooth and here it's going to the edge and I don't know, it's just a very cool surface modeling practice. So let's check that out. And also last reminder, you have one day left for a massive 55% sale on all of my product bundles. Those are the best plasticity courses on the whole internet. 1,500 people enrolled in them. If you want to learn and master plasticity in a step-by-step -step way and you want to learn everything about surface modeling if you're a little bit intermediate or if you're an absolute beginner, I have here the super beginner bundle where you can learn in a few hours all of the basics, core fundamentals of plasticity step-by-step. -step. So you can create your own sci-fi concepts, your own product designs, and yeah much much more so check out first link below this video if you want to save a massive 55 percent sale and let's check out our tutorial that's just uh so that's basically um practice so i just have this image here in pure ref and first of all so we see this is just a cylinder so that's very basic. So we also start with the cylinder. So we go to the center circle in the front view and we just drag that out. And to change the direction, you just have to press V and bam. So we have something like that. And now just press E for extrude and let's just extrude this a little bit. So that's beautiful. And now somewhere here has to be this circle, right? So somewhere here, so we can just do that by creating again, but this time a two point circle because we want, so as you see at the top, it's very straight. So we just want with the two point circle snap here at the same height of that lot of that edge and just drag that down a little bit. So yeah, let's just guess a little bit. And again, we want to change the direction. So just press V and beautiful. So we have something like that. And as mostly we want, so especially with symmetrical objects, we just want to work with one half because yeah, easier. <laughs> so go to the right view, create a line in the middle and now select the line, press C and cut into the surface and delete the right part. And the same with the circle, select the circle and search for cut curve command and select the line and right click. And again, you've cut it in half. Perfect, so we have something like that. And now very simple, we just have to cut here our cylinder in a 45 degree angle. So we can create a line, snap again to the highest point and we can type in exactly 45 degrees. So while you drag out the line, just press tap and tap again and press 45, enter and you have your line. And again, select the line, press C for cut into the surface because we don't need the top, press OK. Press just X, delete and delete also the curve. We don't really need it. And now starts the interesting part. But um, so let me paint that. So first of all, we want to create here a curve. So which will go from this point to this point and another curve from here to here, right? So you see it's everything very straight, very simple for us. Then we will again extrude those curves because we it's in the middle, so we will symmetry it. So we need a face, so we can use this edge for tangency. I will explain to you in a second what this is. But as I've, or as we've discussed in the beginning, we can't just close this hole because then we will have everywhere an edge. But we see here in the front, we have smoothness and just a little bit later, we start to get that edge. So that just means for us that we have to create here an extra edge on the surface. And then at this point, we need tangency. So we will create a curve which will attach to this point. So we have here G1 tangency. 
And then what we can do, we can just create a surface and close this little piece and give here at this edge a G1 and also here G1 because we will mirror it over. So we will have here a surface and then the second patch, loft, surface, whatever, we can then close it here and we will give it here G1 because again, tangency, we will mirror that over and we will of course give it here G1 because yeah, tangency, but here it will be G0, so no tangency. So it will be just a sharp corn, uh, edge. And then we will do something very important, something interesting to get this perfect uh, fillet, uh, which is by the way, not automatic uh, or like uh, this standard fillet. So let's do some magic, <clears throat> create a line and very simple, go from top to top and from bottom to this one here. So you see, we kind of create here this cage and again, select this curve, press E, but you see, we can't only extrude to the top, but we want it to the right. So go to the right view, press E. And now you can extrude this. If it's not working of some reason, just select the curve, go to the right view, press E and then F for freestyle. So you can just snap, right click and right click and drag to the right. And then it will also work. Delete the curve because we need the edge and do the same here. Select the curve, press E. It's again the wrong direction. So go to the right view, press escape, press E again, and it's still not working. So select E, extrude and F, just snap somewhere and just drag that on the right. Perfect. So now maybe someone thinks, oh, okay, I can uh, just close this here. And I mean, you see it works, technically it's correct, but I wouldn't do this tutorial if we would not have this real cool little thing, because here you see at the bottom, we have still this hard edge. So that means you see, bam, our zebra stripes are not connecting, but this is not what I showed you in the beginning. And you wouldn't watch this channel if I would not have a nice magic tip for you, kind of, right? <laughs> so what we wanna do is, we want, so we need an extra edge here, but we just don't just want like create an ISO param here. So you don't have to do it because we don't want to add an edge here because then this edge will go like crazy to the top. We don't want that. What we want is we go to the front view and we want, so kind of a line, which will like be like that, but we want here tangents here, but which is still straight. Uh, so I mean here, right? So again, just follow me along so you'll understand it. So go to the front view or first of all, just create a line and go, yeah, maybe somewhere to this point somewhere. So we have to check it a little bit to somewhere here. So one third or so or one quarter. And now go to the front view and just drag this line down. So somewhere here, so right click. So we are looking from the front view because we just want this little piece here straight. So this means for us, go to the front view and now we have to imprint this curve. So search for F and search for imprint. I have it on shift one and imprint this curve onto the surface, right click, delete this curve, you know, you know? and now we have this curve here in a perfect direction because now we can connect those. But first of all, we also have to extrude this curve. So press E and extrude this a little bit and delete this curve because as always work with edges, because when you work with edges and not with curves, so black is an edge, blue is a curve with edges, you have much more control over tangency G0, G1 and stuff, right? So we want to connect this curve, uh, this edge with somewhere here. So again, select this face and control R. So it's my shortcut for isoparam. And again, also somewhere here, right? So as you, like this circle is kind of the short version of this long ver um, circle. So I mean, this side is basically the same here because we want to connect them, right? So here you see we are interrupting this long edge approximately at one quarter and we will do the same on the small one because now you can just select both of those edges. Important command, bridge edge, 
bam, bridge edge and we bridge them. But here we don't want tangency, so go to G0. And here we just want G1 in this case, right? So here we have G1 and here it's G0 and this curve looks very straight. Perfect, okay. And now very simple, now you can just start to love patch, experiment around with what gives you the best result, but I will just patch it. And we can give here G1, we can give here G1. Okay, delete the curve and patch again. So patch everything, so select them and just patch G1 and G1. And you see, okay, if I delete all of those stuff here, Shift X and Shift E, you see we have a very nice result. And we have now what we didn't have before, we have this front connection. Look, and here it starts to break, but we are not finished yet. First of all, select it and uh, select here, delete redundant topology just to get out of extra edges. And now maybe some one of you beginners might think, oh, okay, now I just want to fill it that. Hmm. The thing is you can do it and it works, but the problem is that you see the fillet starts big like we have here, but if you look very, very closely, you see that this fillet, it, it stays thick here at the end and it just like transitions at some point smoothly in the surface, right? So if you look very closely, because what I see a lot of beginner just do that, but look, our fillet is getting thinner, thinner and thinner. And you see it, it it's just, I mean, it still looks good, but it's not this super smooth result. So we have to do it manually, which is by the way, much more fun. <coughs> so we want to select this whole edge, shift D to duplicate it. And before we, so we will use the pipe method, which I always teach in my surface modeling courses, which is the best technique to create perfect, exact, precise fillets. And we, you have to select this curve and first of all, you have to rebuild it, go to points and just rebuild it with many points, like 30, 50, 100, doesn't matter. Just, you need a lot of them. Okay, and now you can press P and now you can give it here a nice little thickness. So I don't know, something like that. Now delete the curve in the middle, we don't need it. And very important, go to face mode, press three and select those endpoints, both sides and extrude this a little bit because we have to cover with the pipe the whole face. Because now very simple, go to object mode, press four, select first this cylinder and then shift click the pipe and just press Q because we were Boolean that. So we will uh, like cut the pipe out. And now look what we have. We have everywhere an absolute perfect, exactly the same uh, distance, which we couldn't do uh, like automatically, right? And now very simple, just select all of those edges here and just press loft to give it a nice loft. So we have G1 tangency, press okay, press four, select all of those sheets, join, try again, just join and alt X and just press Y and join. And look guys, what we have, you see now, if we check this in, look, isn't that just absolutely beautiful Perfect, perfect reflections. And again, last reminder. So if you enjoy or even love plasticity as I love, and I love teach all of those really cool tricks and techniques and workflows, again, you can save on all of my bundles 55%. It's an absolute flash sale, which I'm doing super rarely. And if you want to learn product design, concept design, or sci-fi design step-by-step, -step, with the full explanation, we leave no stone unturned. Check out first link in the description. You can also go then to my website and go to reviews and check out here my last 50 reviews or to each course, all of the reviews and I have 99% five star um, ratings. So yeah, it's incredible how much time you will save. You don't have to watch like constantly tutorials. You can just invest in the course spend a week and learn more than you could learn from YouTube like in months by like picking all of those techniques and workflows um, on your own, right? So 
In any case, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe. First link in the description and see you in my next one. Bye.